Alright, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Mr. Gone here. Um, this is what, well, let me bring it up. We're going to be learning today how to use cloth without reactor in Studio Max 2009. Here's the video that I had on YouTube. I got a couple of requests, so it shall be done. As uh, you see, it's the cloth. This is actually working by a real wind um, camera shake. Uh, all the holes and rips in this flag are done with opacity maps. I'll show you how to do that. We'll go into Photoshop. We will age the stuff. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll model these things. Uh, we'll have a good time. It'll be a good time. I'll show you how to put camera shake into the cameras using the curve editor. It should be pretty awesome. <clears throat> and also create a a shadow, a matte shadow ground plane. And that just means that uh it holds the transparency. Like uh it'll be completely invisible unless there's shadow or glow being th thrown onto it. So once again, this is what we'll do today, the flag, and uh, once this finishes up, we'll be ready to rock. Alright, so I started in Studio Max 2009. As you can see, uh, now that they've incorporated Maya, they have the Maya controls here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, start by making the flagpole, that's just a cylinder, top viewport, drag it out, I drop the segments over here, height, one segment, sides, uh, it doesn't need to be too extravagant, 12 sides would be good. Center, zoom. See this irritating bounding box around the cylinder? You can get rid of that. I never work with these. They just irritate me to no end. So just hit J on your keyboard. Pow. And I do it with all my viewports. Alright, right click. Convert the editable poly. Camtasia always ruins my system. We'll just put an edit poly modifier on. Edit poly. So I really don't have anything to say about these parts right here. Um, you know, it's just basic modeling. Alright, so we have our basic pole. This is all the detail I'm going to get into with it. I'll take a geosphere because it uses less polys. Just drag it out right here. And 
align it with this so it stays centered. Make sure pivot point is checked on both of these X, Y, and Z. If these things seem a little inconsistent also, what I have to do is uh, every now and then I have to check and make sure I'm keeping it under 10 minutes. I know you love that. Alright, good. So we have our basic flagpole here. Okay, and the shortcut I'm using to jump from full screen is uh, Control, or I'm sorry, Alt W. You can also find that down here in the corner. You click that, it toggles full screen. Alright, so I'm just going to slide all these up so they meet the ground plane. Alright, good. Now we're going to create a plane, which is going to represent our flag. Uh, I guess that's good. I don't know. Dimensions aren't important. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, I guess the size relative to the pole or whatever. Now this one we're going to need some polys for. Let's say, uh, 15 by 25. That looks good. They're about square. We could do a 20, 35. That looks good. We won't need any more than that, I don't think. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a modifier on our on our plane now, our flag cloth modifier in the modifier stack. What you want to do is you drop down, so you click that little plus box, group. You want to highlight just the vertex you want to stick. Nothing else. Make group. Uh, name it a uh, name it whatever you want, but it is important to name it so you know what it is later if you're gonna have. A couple of objects interacting with this flag you should name these things it will help you later we're just gonna say uh, I don't know attach verts okay now while that's still selected and your group is selected here you want to click on node and click on the pole where you want it to cling to Okay, good. Now we can click on group. Cloth will become grayed out again because we're not in the subcategories. You want to click on open uh, object properties. You want to open object properties here. Click on your plane, which I guess, uh, you know what, just to stay in good practice, cancel that. Keep on your plane and click flag. Type in flag object properties now flag is in here see it starts by default is inactive what you want to do is you want to click on cloth now they have all kinds of presets in here I just leave it by default you know we're, we're not going to be too specific what's going to happen here other than just flapping in the wind so make sure it's on cloth and click OK OK and now we can just simulate local. All right, we'll turn that off. See, simulate local gives us a starting point. You can always get out of that by clicking reset state. And we're at 921, so I'm going to cut for now. I'll be right back, all right? 